इस वीडियो को प्लीज़ लास्ट तक देखना अगर आपको पापाकुरा के हिस्ट्री के बारे में जानना ये एक सबब है साउथ ऑकलैंड के अंदर तो so, दोस्तों स्वागत है आपका इस ब्लॉग के अंदर मैं आपका अपना दोस्त है जदम मुसाफिर ऑकलैंड शहर और न्यूजीलैंड कंट्री से तो so, दोस्तों आज मैं आप लोगों को एक जगह दिखाने लेके आया हूँ जो यहाँ की लोकल कम्युनिटी फैसिलिटी सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करती है पी के थ्रू वो रन होती है तो पी की फुल फॉर्म है पापाकुरा डिस्ट्रिक्ट हिस्टोरियल सोसाइटी सो इन लोगों ने शुरू किया था पापाकुरा म्यूज़ियम जहाँ पे आज मैं आप लोगों को लेके जाने वाला हूँ सो so, पापाकुरा म्यूज़ियम जो है वो पापाकुरा एक सबब है ऑकलैंड शहर के अंदर यहाँ की लोकल हिस्ट्री बताता है कि ये सबब कैसे फाउंड हुआ था आसपास के जो डिस्ट्रिक्स हैं उनके बारे में बताता है उनकी हिस्ट्री के बारे में उनके कल्चर के बारे में बताता है बाकी अगर आप म्यूज़ियम आना चाहते हैं तो पापाकुरा म्यूज़ियम की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ वैसे काफ़ी सारे म्यूज़ियम्स हैं न्यूज़ीलैंड के अंदर सो so, ये सिटी से ऑलमोस्ट 25 से 30 मिनट की दूरी पे है जिस रास्ते से मैं आया हूँ वो स्टेट हाईवे वन है ऑकलैंड सिटी से और अगर आप बात करें कि अगर आपको आना है पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट को यूज़ करते हुए तो आप सिटी से ब्रिटो मार्ट करके ट्रेन स्टेशन है जैसे हमारे इंडिया के अंदर मेट्रो स्टेशन होते हैं ऐसे ही ब्रिटो मार्ट ट्रेन स्टेशन है तो आप वहाँ से ट्रेन पकड़ के आ सकते हैं हर 20 से 25 मिनट के अंदर आपको ट्रेन फैसिलिटीज़ मिलेंगी और लगभग एक से डेढ़ घंटा लगेगा आपको पापापुरा ट्रेन स्टेशन पहुँचने में और वहाँ से आप वॉक करके आ सकते हैं 10 से 15 मिनट की वॉक होगी गूगल मैप्स का यूज़ करके आप एग्जैक्ट देख सकते हैं कि कितना टाइम लगेगा सो so, दोस्तों बाकी अंदर चलते हैं और देखते हैं कि क्या क्या फैसिलिटीज़ हैं क्या क्या चीज़ें हैं हम लोगों को यहाँ पे क्या क्या चीज़ें देखने के लिए मिल सकती हैं गर्मियों का सीज़न चल रहा है चौबीस डिग्री टेम्परेचर है धूप काफ़ी ज़्यादा है बाकी मैं आप लोगों को थोड़ा सा व्यू दिखा देता हूँ घर का व्यू कैसा है ये पापाकुरा की मार्केट है सामने आप देख रहे होंगे न्यू वर्ल्ड है सो so, ये एक तरीके का ग्रॉसरी शॉपिंग सेंटर है ये म्यूजियम का कार पार्क है तो so, आप कार पार्क बाहर रोड पे भी लगा सकते हैं अंदर भी लगा सकते हैं तो so, दोस्तों मैं आ चुका हूँ लेवल थ्री के ऊपर तो so, दोस्तों यहाँ पे है लेडी रिसर्च करती है जो पापा कुरा म्यूजियम के अंदर सो शी इज नॉट कंफर्टेबल कमिंग ऑन द कैमरा बट शील बी हेल्पिंग अस विद ऑल द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द म्यूजियम The museum yep. covers Papakura very specifically. Most of our artifact relates to people who lived here or events here. Yeah. Groups and organisations, businesses, churches, schools. We try and absorb all the history and display it in various ways. We can't have all our artifact out all the time, yep. but we've done books and various things. So basically, I was reading about like uh, in this museum there are like uh, three to four exhibitions that you display about the different sort of concepts and uh, about the history and. That's correct, but the main, if you look at the walls here, it covers the history, and this is semi-permanent. Though we are going to upgrade it, yeah, make it this dark background. So basically, like uh, larger pictures and that sort of thing. Bemner family Bibles. What's that like, basically? That was actually a dictionary. Oh, okay, that that's the dictionary. Five or six generations of one family. Yeah. Used that at Pepper School. So this is the early settlers on yep. this side. And as we go in chronologically around the main part of the museum. Yep. This covers Maori history to okay. an extent. So basically, Maori are the local people over here in New Zealand. Like oh, early, yes, early like one of the early settlers. Yeah. yeah, there were Maori here first before the settlers. Yeah, and Pukekiriki is a very significant place in Papakura. 
Huh? Yeah. And uh, we have some Maria. Maria what is this like? Uh, what do we call these? Like the the items at the back are stone tools that were used by Maori for different purposes. There yeah. are labels explaining what they are. Yeah. The smoothing stone is related to flax prepare, preparation of flax for weaving and so on. Okay. Um, like, is it something like about George Cole as well in this museum? Like, he was one of the early he, settlers. He on those panels at right at the beginning. Oh, okay. George, yeah. George Cole and the McLennan family. Yeah. Willis. There's several significant families. Because uh, in the morning I was reading about like Cole Crescent. There is a Cole Crescent in Papakura. Yes. So, Coles. Yeah. Coles, yeah. yeah. You just pass the school. I think Papakura Central School, as most people refer to it. Yeah. It's had various names. It was a normal school when the teachers' training college was in Ardmore. So is it like a like sort of a like school desk? Yeah. Oh, okay. With a slate. With a slate and uh, yes. oh, okay. Inkwells at the back there. You can see the inkwells. Is that about the conflict, like uh, the wars yes. which happened over here in Papakura? It was significant for a very short period, approximately July 1863 to the end of the year. Yeah. When um, the Great South Road was being upgraded and improved and extended towards the Waikato. Towards the Hamilton. And soldiers yeah. were employed on that work. Okay. Like you a see on the left there, the tents, and they were actually building the road, literally. Okay. Which, of course, upset. Maori. Like it was considered like Papakura was the military base uh, for like um, New Zealand, right? Is it considered? Well, it was locally. There were several um, groups of soldiers and redoubts. The Rings Redoubt is something we're extending our content of yeah. relating to that. But the war, the, the, as I say, it was only those six months really where there were events happening here. There were skirmishes in the bush. Yeah. A few minor ones, some quite large, going into Franklin particularly. A lot of the churches, the small Selwyn type churches, which they were all built in around the 1860s. Oh, okay. Um, have got bullet holes in them. <laughs> bullet holes? Yeah, from that period. Um, the Walsh brothers are very significant in Papakura. Uh, like first these ones? First flight in like, New Zealand. That was the first flight in New Zealand. And they also went on to train pilots for World War One, But they were based in... Was that in Manurewa? That's one of the... the Manurewa is the actual name of the plane. Oh, okay. Manurewa actually means soaring moon. You can see a model of it. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the one. Okay. So, like, is it that suburb, uh, Manurewa, uh, like, uh, mentioned after the flight? The flight took place in Takanani. Okay. Takanani. So, Takanani is, uh, guys, uh, suburbs in uh, South Auckland. So, Manurewa is just next uh, suburb to Takanani. So, I'll show you. So, what is this like? Now, this little corner covers brewery pottery and fire clay works. Dury is another suburb, right? Dury is another suburb? Dury is just a little further south. Okay. Is it a, like chimney pots? Yes, like, chimney pots, money boxes, flower planters. They made um, many bricks. You can see they've got the word brewery stamped on them. Dury NZ or brewery, various versions. So uh, were these used in construction? Yes, they were used in Auckland, in okay. the middle of the city. There was stone cutters as well as the pottery. And so they made curbs and you can still see some of them at um, around Albert Park up by Auckland University, around that area. A mountain uh, like Albert Park? Yeah. That's in city CBD? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you can see the wide range of items they made. Yeah. So town growing up. Is it Papakura? Yes, it's all Papakura. Okay. Um, 
farm is, has been around for over 100 years now in Pepper. It's in the same location, though it looks rather different now. Yeah. We've got um, the 1920s were a high development period. Yeah. The Star Theatre, which is that one. Um, the building there where it says Hobson's Chemist, that's still standing and it was built 100 years ago this year. Yep. It's on land owned by the Methodist Church and they're preparing a book on it at the moment. So like they are going to publish a book about it? Yeah, for the 110th anniversary. Everything you see in that case relates to the gentleman pictured here, Sam right. Evans. He was the mayor of Papakura, a okay. businessman. So basically, what is that like? What do we call that? That box, like what is well, that? Well, it's sort of like your desktop handy, handy toolkit. Oh, okay. No, it's got personal items, as you can see. That's his uh, glasses, like. Okay. Town and country. Papakura still tries to hang on a little to the town and country atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, occasional weekends marking some events. So, like, uh, what is this? Like, uh, is it a that's, bucket? That's actually an ice cream, ice cream making tune thing, hence the picture there. Robinson's ice cream is a big brand. Okay. National. Robinson's, yeah. I have heard about that one. And actually, the two girls in, in these photos, top and bottom, are sisters. Yeah. And both of them are volunteers at the museum. Oh, okay. Like right now? Yeah. So. yeah. So I hope you are not one the of them. The one at the top. <laughs> the one at the top's 80. Yeah. Over 80, just over. And the, one, the younger one there. This one? She's turning 80 this year. Okay. Special exhibitions. Yeah. They are on different subjects and they we are spilling over into this area. This one's on gliding. It's okay. the Auckland Gliding Club, but they've been based for the last 80 years. Yeah. In, um, so like I have seen sometimes like uh, there's a glider flying over. Uh, so is it like uh, specifically in Papakura or is it in different sort of suburbs? As no, well? I think um, the gliding club's based in Drury. You see some other images here, a lot of them are taken in Drury. There's, uh, got the so basically, it's been displayed this way, like how it evolved over the yeah, period the of time. Yeah, of it. Okay. That what gliding involves. So that's how it, it used to look Very like early in the 1900s. Yeah. And then it evolved to like this one, local flight. Yeah. And then use various methods, methods of launching them. So when was it like? Uh, the gliding club in was founded in 1936. Thank you. It's only more recently been based in Drury. Since oh. 1981, so 60 years. That's the like uniform of the pilot. Sorry. And is it is it oh, a? That's like, just a overalls. It is a Air Force related, but it's just the easy for the gap. So like we have our Air Force base in Papakura right now. No. No. Uh, is it Navy like uh, New Zealand the, Army or like what is it? Army. Uh, the history of Papakura is military in the sense that there was an army camp from 1939 until the. Nineties. Yeah. Yeah. So that's um, the military the gallery. Gallery is opened late in 2015. Yeah. Uh, when we had all the anniversaries for the events of World War One. So. And it's the space was unlined, no flooring, it's bare concrete. Mhm. Mm and we expanded. It was quite a lot of work. And now we cover the walls from the land walls right through to Korea. 
So basically, Vietnam, Korea. So it's about the New Zealand wars, the Waikato. Well, this, war. Sick, this piece here is, and as you move around, you you work through World War World War One and so on. Okay, and, and some of these are items in here, an artifact that was dug up prior to the subdivision near the site of the rings moved out. Okay. And we're changing this up because we've got a lot more artifact from Rings Redoubt coming. And it's an important subject area for the new New Zealand schools okay. curriculum. So what is this? Uh... There's, all, there's just all sorts of military connection with these things celebrating the, the fact that commemorating the fact that women played a major role in the wars. Okay. Some medical camp, like? Yes, the Americans are here. We have information on that, nothing specific on display. Okay. But there are multiple camps all around Karanka, Franklin, Kikoi, and so on. This area we sometimes utilize for different activities for school groups and school children. Okay. This carpet they can sit on. And the phone. It's quite a big space. So for like extracurricular activities, yes, like yes, students school come school. in from school. So those to ye tha Papakura Museum ke baare mein. काल थोड़ी सी शर्मा रही थी वीडियो के अंदर आने के लिए हर कोई कंफर्टेबल नहीं होता है सो so दोस्तों अगर आपको मेरा चैनल पसंद आ रहा है तो प्लीज़ इसे लाइक करिए सब्सक्राइब करिए और बेल आइकन दबाना ना भूलें दोस्तों प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब करिए अगर आप देख भी रहे हैं और गलती से भूल भी जाते हैं तो जितना आप लोगों का प्यार और सपोर्ट मिलता रहेगा उसी तरीके से मेरे अंदर और ज़्यादा मोटिवेशन आती रहेगी और मैं आप लोगों को और न्यूजीलैंड की ऐसी चीज़ों से रूबरू कराता रहूँगा ऐसी जगहों से रूबरू जो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट विजिटेड डेस्टिनेशन में से हैं इस म्यूजियम के बारे में मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन के अंदर लिंक दे दूंगा सो आप गो थ्रू कर सकते हो उसकी डिटेल्स के बारे में उसके बारे में सो दोस्तों मिलते हैं अगले ब्लॉग के अंदर थैंक यू